Hey everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We are here in the VAB again. This is our Norseman lander of which we are planning on shipping out to, to Mars. Uh, we're going to set aside our launcher and scrap this entire thing. Oh yes. So we're trying to build an orbital platform that will um, be able to map the planet and I guess a good place to start is by moving the rest of the rocket out of the way and bringing this here Ranger Block 1 core uh, a little higher and maybe closer to the center. Uh, hopefully all of its transfer will be able to be done by the uh, AJ-10 stage that sits below it just as uh, previous missions. Um, I'm hoping that it'll have enough gas left in the tank to do an orbital insertion, um, but I'm 100% not certain. So I am going to build this out with a fuel tank and uh, some other interesting goodies. We're probably going to need a second core. Just saying. Alright, and let's go ahead and get a 1 kilonewton thruster under here. Although I guess we don't I could do the typical thing and put a fuel tank and then tuck that up. Really, I think the point of this whole assembly is to land on it, which we don't strictly need to do. Although, it would be nice to put you more towards the center again. All right, I'm going <laughs> to promise I'm going to stop fudging with that thing. All right, uh, structural. Because that just makes things a whole lot easier as far as the solar panels and the mounting of instruments and all of that is concerned. All right, and the lovely trick of trying to line these up just right. Boom. I really hope that's just right. Anyway, all right, and we're going to need some control. Let's set up for nitrogen. God, it's so low tech. I guess I'm going to do uh, 248, 244, 245. Yeah, wow. So it looks like MMH and N2O is the best ISP. Dot 3.4. .34.35. Aerozine does give us better th thrust on them, so we're going to do that. And uh, upgrade them to level 3, so they're at 296 vacuum ISP. And as for our engine, we will also switch that to Aerozine and N2O and upgrade it. Also, it gives us the exact same ISP. We already knew that. And, uh, what is set for nitrogen? Seriously? Did that not take? Uh. <laughs> I love how this works. Sometimes. You really... You're just killing me, KSP. Alright. Arizine 15 and 2 O. Oh. Airzine 15 and 2 Alright, so uh, we would like to have a complement. Well, I guess we don't really need it because um, the orbiters from the landers will have a bunch of have the uh, RPWS antenna and the magnetometer. I guess we don't have the orbital telescope weighs dot zero three. I think I've tried to do this before, balancing that thing out with a bunch of other useless crap, but it doesn't work. Do it with two biological camps, capsules. Yeah. And there's just no love from the solar panels at all. Which we will be stocking four. Don't worry. Oh man, that's three. I am stupid. Alright, and... <sighs> D 
Dang it. Why? Oy vey. I can only assume that's about the middle. That's as far out as I can pull them, really? Alright, well, that doesn't look that terrible, right? I'd rock that. It's got our scanner on it. Oh, antennas. And we're still not at our weight limit. What are we at? 0. 0.48? My goodness. We can put some balls on it. What's our delta V out of the stage? 300? That ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. Bear with me. Get them configured first. They need to be pressurized. They need to be full of arazine. Alright, we are over our weight, so we do have to adjust their size. Not bad. Alright, now let's get them into position. That's not too bad, if I do say so myself. I mean... <laughs> uh, I, need, I probably need a short range on it, don't I? Damn it. That's gonna screw up absolutely everything. Yep. By a bunch. I would like the balls to be as round as possible. Nobody likes sloppy, misshapen balls. Alright, well, I mean, they're still fillet cylinders, but it's not that bad. God damn it, I always forget to hit the button. Alright. Uh, I'm actually very happy with this. That's. This is quite nice. So I do need to find a way to lock these tanks until the appropriate time. I can't lock the one inside the top of the core. No big deal. Actually then, I can add another like two liters to these. They're <laughs> 5.2 liters apiece. It's another 20 liters, man. That's not bad. What do they hold this size? Eight? Oh no, I can add another half liter to each if that's gonna burn while the damn it. Seven. What were they at? Five point whatever? Damn it. All that work. Alright, 
if they're at six. Six tons. So what happens if I take two liters out of that? No, not quite. Okay. Sorry, this is getting dumb now, isn't it? Five point five. That's about where they were. Okay. So yes, if the two liters that are in the upper core are drained by the thrusters before we decouple the stage, everything will be fine. Comprende? Alright, let's uh, reattach the rest of our rocket, double check our staging, the fairings aren't on yet, but that's clink, clink, boom, clink. Boom. Make sure these are fucking pressurized. Excellent. And this will actually be a whole hell of a lot lighter than the lander because it lacks that stupid effing heat shield. So maybe I should just go ahead and put the orbital telescope on the orbital section. Well, this is the whole thing's an orbital section. But I guess this is now dependent on all of it staying in orbit at the same time. Okay, well this can make an insertion orbit that'll probably run out of fuel when it's eccentric. This will have enough fuel to adjust itself down to an altitude where the scanner can do itself some good. So, I'm going to leave it alone, is the basis of all of this. Alright, let's set up our action groups. Group 1, of course, will be boot. Toggle panels. Activate our Sputnik. Activate our dishes here. Activate these dishes here. Toggle these panels here. Toggle our Comitron 32s. Start our radar. No, we do not want to start our radar scan. Ooh, excuse me. And our radio in. Plasma, log magnetometer, analyzed telemetry. All right, it's uh, it's really all we need, huh? That was another sneeze. Sorry. All right, so our fairings back on it. We do not want to jettison the fairings first. My god. KSP, you're killing me. Man, I guess we're just going to call this whole project the uh, Norseman Mars Flights. What's our total Delta Vs on everything? Not bad. 4,400, and we ditch the boosters. We get another 4,100. 4,200 in this stage, about 1,000 of which we will need to hit orbit. 3,500 in our transfer stage, and then yeah, it's telling us 15 meters per second because there's two liters of hydrazine in the top bit of the uh, probe core that I couldn't turn off because the solar panels were in the way, and I don't feel like messing with it. So, save, add two of them to the build list. Because man, if everything with this flight goes really, really well, we might be able to uh, use them to also map uh, Phobos and Deimos. Ours is two very small moons. But, uh, sorry, this one's going to be really, really short, guys. And this is where I'm going to end it. Because, uh, well, we've got a lot of other cool stuff that we have to get to. So, thanks for hanging out, everybody. I do appreciate it. I'm, I will see you all tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out.